I'm presenting to you on this video a number of rare woodcut illustrations that were published in a German natural history book in the 1880s. These deal with the, and I'm probably going to mess up the pronunciation of this, so I apologize in advance, but this deals with the Maori people of New Zealand. And as I'm showing you these images, I want to tell you a little bit about them, and I thank Wikipedia Commons for being able to do this. The Maori originated with settlers from Eastern, or from Eastern uh, Polynesia, and they are the indigenous Polynesian people of New Zealand. Over several centuries in isolation, the Polynesian settlers developed a unique culture that became known as the Maori with their own language, a rich mythology, distinctive crafts, and performing arts. Early Maori formed tribal groups based on Eastern Polynesian social customs and organization. Horticulture flourished using plants they introduced, and later a prominent warrior culture emerged. The arrival of the Europeans to New Zealand starting in the 17th century brought enormous change to the Maori way of life. The people gradually adopted many aspects of Western society and culture. Initial relations between Maori and Europeans were largely amicable, and with the signing of the Treaty of um, Wait Tang in 1840, the two cultures coexisted as part of a new British colony. Rising tension over disputed island sales led to conflict in the 1860s. Rising tensions over disputed land sales led to a conflict in the 1860s. Social upheaval, decades of conflict, and epidemics of introduced disease took a devastating toll on the Maori population, which went into a dramatic decline. But by the start of the 20th century, the population had begun to recover, and efforts were made to increase their standing in wider New Zealand society. Traditional Maori culture has enjoyed a revival, and a protest movement emerged in the 1960s advocating for their issues. I hope you enjoy the images. Um, they are, I, I would have to say they're rare images because of the era they were made in, the 1880s, 1870s, 1880s. And um, I can't believe there's that many of this particular book that exists anymore. All right, enjoy, please, and thanks for stopping by.